Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we started understanding components. I gave you a complete um, write-up of the important points of components in Angular. Today onwards, we'll do hands-on, which is to generate our own components in the application. When you work on any existing project or on a new project, which is on Angular 17, you will need to work and create a lot of components. That's what we are going to learn in this episode. If you have missed out on the first 10 episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master Angular 17 with me, especially the breaking changes that are introduced in Angular 17. Let's get started. So today, what are we going to do? Today, we are going to do hands-on and I am going to show you different variations of component generation. This is especially important because if you are coming from previous version of Angular, things are different. In Angular 17, things are different. So it's important that you understand it end to end. Let's get started. All right, I'm firing up my editor. All right, so I'm in the project folder right now, which is Angular 17 crew management system. That's what we are building, uh, which will be a airline crew management system. So here, today we are learning about generating components. All right, so the first and foremost thing in previous versions or current versions, the command to generate is still the same, which is ng generate component followed by component name that you want to give. Okay, so let's say in our folder, uh, in our application, we want to generate a component and let's call it, um, think of a name, um, let's say crew members is one of the components I want to generate. So now you see it created, it generated the component and it's updated only four files. Okay. But, but if you are on any other Angular version, which is less than 17, you would see an entry in module file. It can be app module. It can be any other nearest module that your project has important thing is it has to have an entry in module 5. In Angular 17, the components, the components are standalone. Standalone, which means they don't need, they don't need a module. Okay. In Angular 17, we don't have a concept of ng module or app module. So if you look at this, I created a, um, a component which is in the wrong place right now so I'm going to go into inside app folder and I'm going to delete this right away and it won't bother because there is no other place which is using it so inside app I'm going to generate the same component and say crew members and you see a new component is created all right now if you open the component.ts of this component you will see standalone is true Okay, standalone is true by default. Okay, that's why you don't need a module. But let's say you are working on a previous version of Angular, which is less than 17. I told you, you will need an entry in module file. Let's see how that. So ideally, right now we don't have any module. So it should give an error. Let's see that. ng G is for generate, C is for component. Alternatively, you can write the complete words like this or use a shorthand. You can just give shortcuts, ng, ng generate component. Let's say we want to build crew or say crew timetable, right? A component and I'm saying this is standalone, stand alone, false. Now, if I want to make a component by default standalone false, I'll use this options with it, which is standalone false. Now it will give me an error. Why? Because it says it could not find ND module. This is Angular 17, guys. Remember that. Angular 17 does not have app module, ng module, or anything of those by default. Because by default, everything is standalone. So what you need to do, you need to generate a module. I'm going to call it 
app module so now I created an app module right here now you can see it created an app module where is that here okay now what we can do is now when you create a component it still doesn't find so I'm going to bring it to the app level okay so now it's right here app module.ts delete this folder some of you may think it's crazy it's not actually and now when I run this command it will make an entry into the app module.ts here it updated that module if you open this app module you can see that crew timetable component is imported into this component and this component is not standalone by default okay so important thing here like I said by default the command that you will use is ng generate component component name <coughs> if you are using angular 17 in angular 17 components are standalone by default in previous versions they are not standalone by default okay to make it um, if you want to disable to disable default stand alone you will run the command ng generate component component name hyphen hyphen standalone and false will be the value but like I said if you are on any previous angular version you will need a module that it needs an entry in okay so remember this basic things now what is the other way we can optimize you can if you don't want your angular application to be default standalone component right so inside the projects inside the schematics you can add an entry and say standalone false okay so remember if you want all the angular components to be default not standalone you can make an entry here by default by default they are all true that means by default it will be generated true if you don't want them default you can make it false in angular.json also okay that's another provision I'm providing you so you should know that there are different options available and we should know that why something is used right adding to schematics and disable standalone equal to false in angular.json this is another way that you can make it default standalone as false okay so important thing that you're learning today ng generate component component will generate in angular 17 it is standalone by default you can see that here in crew members that we generated standalone is true in component where you don't want it to be standalone you will need to provide a nearest module at least one module otherwise you will get an error Otherwise, you will get error okay I hope this is clear I hope now the concept of generating angular components is clear in both angular 17 as well as in previous versions okay do write to me if you have any questions or uh, feedback or any queries that you have in the comment section I'll be more than happy to help you okay in the next episode I'm going to talk about the angle component architecture for the project that we are going to build which is a crew management system I'm going to generate lot of component inside this I'm going to show you the thought process that I will use to generate the components and that's how we will also start working on a real-time project in this particular series I'm trying to break down things for you to make it easy to understand easy to follow and easy to start learning along with me remember the best way to learn is to start coding with me so if you see these notes pause it pause the video for a minute go through the notes do the steps that I have done run the commands I have run in order to learn and master 
all right that being said uh, thank you so much for joining in this episode once again thank you for liking the videos showing me so much love to me and to my support uh, for the channel uh, please continue doing that and i'll see you in the next episode we'll learn about the component architecture of our project thank you